Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove this sky and or replace it with another sky image using different techniques. I downloaded some photograph from unsplash.com. I highly suggest you check that out and share some loves with the photographers if you like their shots. I start with the easiest one. Here, you need to unlock this layer and go to the select menu and choose the sky. This feature is added to the recent version of Photoshop, so if you don't have that in your Photoshop, please update it to the latest version. As you see, the entire sky is now selected. I can delete it or select inverse in order to mask this building. Here I have a sky image and I'm gonna place it behind the main building. Make sure that the sky and your main objects are in the same angle. Let's scale that up a little to remove those hills. Now I'm gonna make some adjustment to match both image brightness and contrast. Okay, cool. I just save it and done. Let's go to the next one. This one looks a bit challenging because there are some small areas behind the trees so it makes it difficult to remove that. If I use the same technique, obviously it's not gonna work. Please write me in the comments about what would you do in such cases. Alright, here's one of the solutions for removing or replacing a sky in such cases. Right click on the main layer and open blending options. Under the blending options tab, shift this arrow to the left to remove the white pixels of this layer. So by doing that, you're actually removing that white sky. As simple as that. Press OK. I think it does it very well, but I'm gonna go down more in details in the next minutes. Now it's time to bring details back from the black areas. I will add a curve and try to pull that up to light up the dark areas. I can add a sky using the gradient tool or insert an image. Let's try both. Here I have a preset for gradient. You can download some free presets and use them in your projects. Now I add another white layer behind it to clean the sky color in lower areas using the gradient.
not huge difference but I just wanted to make sure that there is white color that was the way you can insert your own sky now let's add another sky image to this shot The highlights on the trees looks off when there is a blue sky in background. So I need to add a white background and add a mask to the sky to remove the lower parts. Okay, now let's adjust the brightness and contrast of the sky. That's cool. As I've said, here I need to check more details to make sure removing background is done well. So I return to blending options and continue dragging the arrow to the left until most of the white pixels disappear. And the reason that I add the white background again is that because of the mood of this shot. I just wanted to show you the technique so you can apply this to any other image that have a bright sky. Please let me know your idea about this video in the comments. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoy watching this video. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you in the next video. Have fun!